That night, uh, what happened was that uh, me, uh, myself, my wife, and my stepdaughter, we went to a birthday party of a longtime friend. And uh, when I was in a party, uh, my lady asked me to go and check on the car. I witnessed uh, an unknown driver that went to a red light and he hit a parking car, a park car that I was there, that it was parked right behind my lady's car. When I approached the car, the car was smoking. The unknown driver uh, just came out of the car and I tried to hold the guy, uh, you know, to ask him what happened. And he just hit me on my forehead. He attacked me. I went to the ground and he just ran away. He left his car uh, with the door open and the car was smoking. I noticed that a police car, it was coming down the street. So I flagged him down. By that time when I was talking to the officer, I ID myself as a retired correction officer. I showed him my ID and my retired uh, shield. He says that I smell like liquor. That time he says that uh, uh, that I was on the arrest. I said, on the arrest for what? I haven't done anything. After that, I was arrested for no reason. I was arrested and I spent at least four, four days, I can hardly recall, in jail, in which I went through a lot. Even my shoe was stolen, my life was threatened, because I was recognized by inmates that I was a, a, a correction officer, and I was so afraid in tears because she didn't know what to do uh, with my stepdaughter who's handicapped and uh, it really affected her uh, for me to be uh, arrested for something that I didn't do. I had nothing against to the police department. I think it's a great agency and I think that most of the officers assigned to the agency, they do a great job. But the experience that I went through, it really hurts me inside and I still feel the way that I felt when I was locked up for no reason. Well, through all the experience that I went through, uh, I do believe that uh, if anybody need my help and if I could do it, I will do it again. That's the way I feel inside.